Hello, and this is Mr. Ridley's RMT revision, and we're, this is number six, and we're looking at sustainability. So the first thing we need to ask is, what is sustainability? Well, sustain means to keep going. Sustainability is about making things that don't damage the environment. So when we make things, we don't damage the environment. Whenever we make anything, if we make something in school or if factories make anything, we're making things, we need to we use up resources. We use up natural resources. It might be wood, it might be metal, whatever we're making. So when we're making things, we should aim to reduce the environmental impact of the products that we produce. So that's what the exam question is really going to be about with sustainability. So we're going to look at some materials. The first material we're going to look at is wood or timber and Products made from wood are generally more sustainable. Most wood products used in school are from managed forestry and also wood is biodegradable. So we'll look at those words because they're important words and we'll look at those in a minute. So first of all, what is managed forestry? This means that we have forests here and the trees are cut down, new trees are planted and whenever they cut down trees they always plant more trees. The trees grow over a long period of time then they're cut down, more trees are grown. The, um, so every time a, a tree is planted two or more are planted and that means the forest is getting bigger. So this is sometimes called sustainably grown timber. How do we know that wood is from managed forestry? Well it has the forestry stewardship count, count council logo on it which is this FSC logo and this is how you can tell that wood is from a sustainable managed forestry so that's managed forestry there is also recycled timber now sometimes in school we use recycled timber what's the difference in recycled timber this is timber which has been used before it might have been used in buildings or pallets but this is recycled timber. Sustainably grown timber is new timber, but it has been grown in ways that don't cause at least amount of damage to the environment. Why is timber so important to the environment? Or why are trees important to the environment? Trees take a long time to grow, and as they grow, they absorb CO2, carbon. That's basically what they're made from. The CO2 is locked into the wood until the wood decays or is burned, and then it goes back into the atmosphere. So obviously it takes a long time. You can see that tree there is 30 years old and that all that time it's been absorbing CO2 from the atmosphere. As trees grow, they absorb CO2. The CO2 that is produced by things like cars, factories, airplanes, burning fossil fuels, all the, this CO2 is in the environment and for trees absorb it. So this is good for the environment and helps reduce global warming. CO2 is what we call a greenhouse gas. So the greenhouse effect here is too much CO2 in the atmosphere is a cause of global warming. So the, the, the CO2 in the atmosphere here, um, heat comes in, is absorbed by the atmosphere, but it tries to bounce back and it can't. It's re-radiated back, re back to the surface. So it acts, like it says, as a giant greenhouse. So that's why CO2 is a problem. Why would manufacturers, so we're looking at products in the environment again, why would manufacturers want to make products which don't damage the environment? So we're just looking at environmentally friendly products. So there's a, a Toyota that's a hybrid car that is meant to be good for the environment. Why would manufacturers do this? Because people don't want to buy products which damage the environment. Most people quite like to buy products which don't damage the environment. So if the manufacturers make products which are environmentally friendly, people are going to buy them. Because some green products, like the Toyota Prius, sell at a premium. They cost more than standard products, so people will pay more for environmentally friendly products. And also because governments often pass laws making in, in manufacturers do it. So, for example, car manufacturers have to create cars that don't pollute the atmosphere or pollute the atmosphere under a certain standard. So they're the reasons why manufacturers would make products that are environmentally friendly. Now we're looking at another material, plastics. So the two materials, we've looked at wood, we're now looking at plastics. Products made from plastics are generally less sustainable. 
Most plastics are made from oil and are not biodegradable. So let's take a closer look. Plastic is made from oil. Okay. It's really important that you know that, that, that you remember that, because that means that plastic isn't sustainable. Where did oil come from? It was created millions of years ago during the time of the dinosaurs. It was made by sea creatures that fell to the sea floor. The sea creatures built up into layers, and over a period of time, uh, this turned into oil. The oil was made a long time ago, and it would take millions of years to make more. So oil is a finite resource. That's an important word, finite resource. Basically, it means when the oil runs out, there isn't any more. So unlike the trees from sustainable forestry, which can be made over and over again, oil is not sustainable. Many products that are made from plastic are recyclable, but a huge proportion of them end up in landfill. So once in landfill, landfill is where rubbish is, you throw things away and they basically take it out to a big hole in the ground, bury it in the ground, flatten it down and put more rubbish on top of it. But the problem with plastic is once it's in landfill, plastic will not biodegrade, it won't rot away. It's there forever. Now we're looking at another plastic. Now this plastic is not from oil. And this is a biopolymer. So this is another word you need to know. Biopolymers are plastics not from oil. It is made from plants. PLA is also biodegradable. So PLA is used in 3D printers. So in school we use the PLA in a 3D printer, but it's a different plastic. Not from oil and also biodegradable. Now, how can we assess how sustainable products are? Well, there is a list of six R's. These are important checklists because these are used designers. So if you, we look at a product and we can say we can use it, the list to see the environmental environmental impact of products. They can also be used to evaluate the environmental impact of other products. So let's look at the six R's. The first one, reduce. This means, is it possible to reduce the amount of materials you used? This will help protect valuable resources. So for example, in a product, if you buy a product or are designing a product, can you reduce the packaging? Does it need all the packaging that it has? Could the packaging be simpler? Because in the end, by reducing the packaging, it means that there will be less waste. So that's reduce. Rethink. Is there a better way to solve the problem that is less damaging than the environment? So did we need the product in the first place? Or could the product be totally changed? Or could the job that your product's been doing be do by, done by something else which doesn't damage the environment? That's rethink. Refuse. This means not accepting things that are the best option for the environment. So, for example, mobile phones. Do you need to have a new f m phone? Is the phone okay? Could you keep? There's a lot of pressure to buy a new products, replace products that are still working fine. There's a pressure of society to, to change and update and upgrade. So that's refuse. Recycle. Could re recycled materials be used or could the product be made from materials that are easy to recycle? So here's two products that are recycled. This is using materials to make something else. So here's a pencil case that used to be a car tire and here's a chair that used to be a shopping trolley. These are recycled products. Reuse. Could the product have another use or could its parts be used in other products? Um, if that's the so, will the product, could it extend the product's life? So for example, reusable bags. Now these are important because it's a product that can be used over and over again, alternative to having a disposable product. So reusable products, that's reuse. And lastly, repair. Is the product easy to repair? Will this extend its life? extend its life. So we're looking at two products here, looking at phones and computers. Could they be repaired? If they go wrong, you know, the, the screen gets broken or something goes wrong in it, could it be repaired instead of throwing it away and using a new product? It's much more environmentally friendly, much more sustainable to repair the product. Now, it's time 
for questions. Sustainability. Which word means to dispose of rubbish by burying it in the ground? It's landfill. Which word means that the product will break down naturally if buried in the ground? Which product will break which word means break down naturally? It is biodegradable. Which plastic is not from oil and is biodegradable? It is PLA. PLA is biodegradable and is not made from oil. It's made from plants. Which of the six R's means to try and mend it before you throw it away? It is repair. Which of the six R's means to try and consume less? Reduce. What are most plastics made from? What are the majority of plastics made from? They're made from oil. Okay, that was sustainability. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exam.